there we go. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Flynn tonight along with... Hey yes sir, Mighty Lieutenant Rick here at your service. And welcome back to Doom 2016. Hopefully we will have less technical issues today. I still have no freaking idea what is even causing those uh, static bursts or why my Bluetooth just sometimes decides nah. Uh, but yeah, just so far at least no <laughs> issues now. And hello there, Mark. Are you doing well today? Hello there, Polo. <laughs> Each and every time. No, every time, but I think this is the third time, Joe. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, Marco. There we go. Okay. Last time we got to the Argent Energy Tower, where, well, Olivia Pierce is being a sore loser and, well, plans to open up a, <laughs> a portal to hell itself. So uh, we kind of don't want to do that. We've already, we're already dealing with enough demons. Yeah. We don't need any more visitors. Also, what difficulty are we all? Normal. Hurt me plenty is normal? Yep. For moment was really took it on hard. Yeah, we did that during the showcase. Okay. Last time we ended it here after the, my microphone went mad for like the fifth time. So yeah, again, hopefully we won't be having much of that, if any. Uh, let's see, are we supposed to... I think we're supposed to chase after. Uh, what the... You broke your toe? Okay, how'd you do that, Marco? Let's see, we need to go up this thing, not down. This one's stuck. Okay. Oh, hello. Let's take this. One more point for us. We have a bunch of them already. Let's. Okay, we have four. Uh, yeah, let's let's do this. <laughs> now we can just blow up any barrel we want, uh, and still be safe. Uh, let's see. Though oh. this one would be nice as well to work into. Uh, let's see. Marco, I accidentally dropped a metal bar on my foot. Yeah, that, I think that'll do it. Uh, aren't you supposed to be wearing, like, steel-toed boots for that? Or at least boots of some sorts? The, where did it happen? Got that. Argent Energy. Hmm. Let's see. Argent Energy is produced by neutron activation of Argent Plasma, a new and powerful substance that was discovered on Mars. It produces an exothermic reaction where recorded temperatures within the plasma have exceeded previously accepted th theoretical limits. <clears throat> Pardon, just back from dinner. Uh, through a process not yet fully understood, Argent plasma remains stable and self-contained throughout. Conventional nuclear power is obsolete. What used to make a nuclear reactor 12 months to... Uh, uh, what used to take a nuclear reactor 12 months to produce can be generated in a few seconds by the Argent Tower and packaged into an Argent accumulator no larger than Samuel Hayden's hand. <clears throat> uh, Argent Plasma was originally discovered by the SS Amundsen, Amundsen when it landed in the Promethe you know, Terra region of Mars in 2095 as part of the UAC Geological Survey uh, Mission Frontier. Uh, while searching for liquid water springs, the survey bot discovered a narrow trench which has now become known as the Argent Fracture. The fracture emitted a substance that at first appeared to be a, an electrical gas cloud. However, deeper analysis of the substance showed it to be an entirely new form of matter with a quantum signature never before recorded. Initial tests on this new matter immediately showed its potential. When a 2 megakelvin cutting laser was fired up to the substance, it absorbed the heat with ease and remained self-contained. A second expedition was planned to further analyze this remarkable new Argent plasma. It has been there has been speculation that the development of Argent energy goes beyond traditional science and bleeds into the realm of SEFT, spiritual energy field theory. Experiments in this fringe science have been heavily criticized in the past as the development often involve occult-like practices and the channeling of resources from poorly misunderstood, poorly understood extra-dimensional resources. 
Coupled with the reports of cultish practices within the UAC, there are deep concerns about how Argent energy is being produced and if it is indeed safe. So, some folks did. <laughs> some folks did catch on to all the bullshit happening, huh? Uh, oh, hello there, pizza yeah. lover. Uh, how are you doing today as well? Yeah. Let's hello there, pizza lover, and we are doing great. Let's see, Marco. I don't have those kinds of boots, and it's, it happened while I was fixing the tractor. You still came even though you don't want spoilers. Uh, I might as well spoil myself, I don't have anything to do, no friends to play shit with. Uh, yeah, lol, so I'm, so I'm here. Uh, you can also recommend Captain ga uh, a Game in the suggestion box. And uh, Okay, it's just doing alright. Uh, I'll need to compare the games that are in there at the moment to the ones already up on the Discord. Uh, just in case, let me do this quickly. Yeah, we have a Discord server and there's a suggestion, there should be a suggestion box visible to people there as well. So yeah, feel free to put anything in there as well. Uh, let's see. The UAC has refused to reveal the details, despite repeated requests by the Global Science Council, despite concern over the safety of producing energy with a process that is not fully understood, the need for a reliable energy source since the depletion of plutonium and uranium reserves is a powerful argument. When the UAC unveiled an Argent Energy-powered hand-sized 24 battery with over uh, 24 volt battery with over 12,000 megawatt hours, the future of our energy supply within the solar system was set. One battery array could power an entire city block for several months. Researchers at the Global Science Council have speculated that the UAC's most advanced battery technology, the Argent Accumulator, can hold over 30,000 megawatt hours but that the UAC is deliberately bottlenecking the production to maintain control over the market value. The UAC has no uh, comment on the matter. So basically, the only reason that the UAC is getting away with producing this is because, well, it's beyond solar and water power, it's the only effective and uh, way of producing energy. And yeah, it sounds like there's both an overpopulation and an underpower uh, lack of yeah, power source problem going on at the same time. Yeah, and it seems that they deliberately underpower these batteries that can hold even more power. Yeah, so they can, well, keep on getting paid the maximum for it. Okay. Totally not reminding me of Black Mesa. I'm not it like that. I had to forget this room. Actually, much better this one. Okay. Oop. Oh, Epo there. Um. Presence at unsafe level. Oh. Yep. Dear Bob, what happened to you? Nope. Nope, did it knock me back? Okay. Bob, I told you to go easy on the donuts. There we go. First man to be slain. Nope. There. Nope, another one. Get as much as you with a, with a de Okay. <laughs> I didn't notice the other one that's got me stuck. Okay, that, that just shows how quickly you can die if you're standing still. Okay. Take two. Oh, bloody heck. Are you just gonna grab something? There we go. You can also grab some ice for my drink. Safe Let's see, how many rockets do you need? That's, that's nine already. And that's enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's armor. Oof. Miss. Okay. 
Oop, more activate. And my last burst. Ooh, you are getting. Oh, I hit you. I should survive. Yep, mostly. Eep. I hope I expect you to suddenly die a lot while I was away. Don't look like I didn't tell you to not die. Good. Okay, they have a ground. Not really ground pound, but more ground burst, too. Yep, blue help. Uh, oh, you don't have anything for the chainsaw. What? Was that a glitch? That was a momentary glitch there for a second. Okay, I definitely need to be off the ground when that happens. Now I'll take these. Okay, there's more to do. Oh, I'll take that, thank you very much. Now where's the Mancubus? Mankey as well, take it. Ah, there you are. And there you were. <laughs> Got this. Good more of it. Nope. There we go. Eat that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, slowly but surely we're getting more and more tough enemies. Yeah. And I forgot the whole hideous the man could buy or okay. Is there a platform puzzle here that I'm not fully seeing? Because I see those. Are moving down. Can I just nope. That's just moving up and down by its own. Okay. Let's see. Uh yeah, let's check on the data log. Also let's just get all of this cleaned up. Okay, Mancubus. The Mancubus is a lumbering behemoth demon. A foul odor accompanies its presence, a stench that can be overwhelming if inhaled directly. Mancubi gorge on anything they can find and are not averse to eating rancid flesh. The diet rots in their uh, digestive system, making their innards highly flammable. These foul creatures are decked in light armor uh, when they reach maturity, but their grotesque frame soon outgrows the armor, exposing their stomach and face. Yeah. Oh, there was one of those behind us. Yeah, as well. <laughs> I was just being blind. I just. What did I just realize now that the flamethrowers are powered by their own. digestive gas? Yeah. The accumulator's energy signature indicates that it is nearing the top of this pleasure facility. If she ruptures that accumulator near the origin beam, she could open a portal to their world that we all the more reason to hurry the fuck up. Yeah. From one word to another. From okay. gas, flamethrowers to a gate to hell. For some reason my nose is itching as to hell. Yeah. They must be a sick to origin energy. Do you want me to hold a uh, honey butcher to scratch it? No. 
Uh, I, I kind of wonder if that will become a uh, gag video at some point where I have a compilation of whatever you see you know it's itching and I find more and more bizarre suggestions to deal with it. <laughs> I see you up there. That would be much good. Get to make on that. There we go. I just remember something. Just right. be uh, someone got hurt from the two today. I had last week a weird dream about you, Helian. Okay, should I even ask further? Uh, it's not bad, but something bad did happen to you. As it was more. I don't remember in. I want to recall it was like a sketch, a sitcom or something. You were in your bed in your beach uniform. And then you woke up in a very unpleasant manner by thinking Oscar biting your toes. No, you don't. But uh, now I wonder, but what <laughs> would you feel I was to say? Okay. First off, lift off on that one. Uh, I don't actually expect it way worse than that. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, I, I was surprised myself I dreamt that. that I don't remember the full context and... Yeah, you know dreams. Yeah. You don't remember fragments. Put me up on there. I see a green, I want a green. Invulnerability a bit late now if we're only dealing with these little jackasses. Uh. Of course, I found it at the end of the battle again. Yeah. Oh. Actually, oh yeah, there's another thing which I haven't told you about, but I'm told the stream. This week, the most people yesterday. Or day before yesterday, I woke up three in the morning from dreaming I was about to wake up, but there was a bee in my room, and when the bee flew at my face, then I woke up and realized it's only three in the morning, and there was no bee, and I almost the punched my table. By Argent Energy. <laughs> okay, just spell it out what? loud, okay? Wait, what? Yeah. what? what the did road say? to hell is paved by Ar Argent Energy. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, first, that's literal. Let's see. The uh, Marco, uh, you could have asked me to type it. Uh, I have yeah, joined the Discord. Thank you. Hope you'll enjoy the, the others there. Uh, Google banned my alt email. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Message of me joining the Discord service is perfect. <laughs> I'll have to check it in a second. Uh, sure, hope you did pizza. Uh, obviously, uh, trash enemy. I feel like you're nearing the credits. We're not done with this game, not by even by half. Okay. Faster drones. Okay, that was yeah. Well, yeah. Wait, how long is this game? Uh, we should be able to get a few, a good, few more streams out of it. Yeah, for a few people say it was good, but short, but now I'm unsure since this is our first stream and we're still in this area. It's. You and you're going to move up. Okay, because up is where we need to go. Up along this massive <laughs> glow stick. Ah, I see. The cycling through. Okay. 
No. I don't want to go the long way down. I don't want to go down in any capacity. Oh, no. Okay, the entire thing just turns. Okay, I thought the thing was tipping over. Okay. Well, let's see if you can survive the way down. Nope, we can't. I was surprised uh. we were able to. I was so surprised if you had. <sighs> okay, then. And let's see, from Marco. Up, up, and away! And back down <laughs> into a stain. Oh, wait, I know exactly what to play. <laughs> I, I really need to expand on that. Okay, it should be. It should be audible. But I should. <laughs> Oop. Oh, oh, come on! Uh, on the one hand, I should expand on this, on that. On the other, I think you will have way too much fun with it. The road to hell is paved. But I, I, I will have. I do feel like we do need more sound effects here, especially as Autobahn that air horn will be coming a bit too tempting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got a bunch of weapon. Uh, points here. Let's, we still need to complete that one. Let's actually... Ta -ta -ta. Yeah, let's put this one in. It is expensive, but... Yeah, just... Sh shot penetration on the super shotgun. Yeah, that should deal with any horde quickly. Wait. What does that mean? You're ready for duck count? Yep. <laughs> Though I think uh, Doom Guy might be a bit overqualified to be playing Duck Hunt, of all things. Okay. I'm sorry I'm concerned, or actually, I would not be surprised if someone has modded in a Duck Hunt game with Doom Guy. Okay, noted that kills. Also, hello and bye. How much does it actually take of our ammo? A single shot, okay. Well, that guy just... Uh, blew to pieces. I had a feeling it was coming. Uh, no. Okay, from here we can get on top. It's a nice little detail that these green lights typically show the way to go. And they also make sort of sense in the architecture. Well, well lighting the place up. Okay. Yeah, got them up. Next. There we go. Come on. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Took a bit of hoopers with me getting around that guy. Demon smash! There we go. I should try to keep an eye on what weapons have the most ammo and use those. So, of course, here they're not needed. Hmm, I just remember something about the... Uh, uh, these uh, demon knights. Yeah, the hell knights. The hell knights. I, I like the design, but... Probably do also feel a bit disappointed by them. No. But the name Hell Knight, you expect them to have a bit more... Armor? Yeah, armor and maybe some badass weapon. No, they just stay... 
There's a demon in life's headbutting. Okay. okay. I, I have taken pretty well to these big ass one and a half liter bottles. <laughs> just fill them up with water, set them in the fridge, and yeah, just cool water at whenever you want. Especially if you have two to swap out. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, we, we, bo we both do basically the same thing, Malmo, just... Oh. I, I think I told you what I had before, was... A plastic version of what it looks like those bottles you used to store milk in. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, what... I feel a bit water. <laughs> what did you clip, Marco? What Let's did you see. clip? Okay. Ten kills, two explosive barrel. Luckily, we're immune to it now. Uh. To lure them to them. Shit. Okay, that's going to be trickier, since the explosive rate actually seems to be pretty small when damaging them. <laughs> okay, they clipped the fall. For the falls. We have only of one course. health. Yeah, I'm using the health here, but I'm a bit confused about it. There we go. Just have to be a bit more careful with it. Let's see. Increase effectiveness of equipment items. And I think that's our fourth one, so we can <clears throat> so we can go get another one equipped. Nice. Yep, there we go. Uh let's see. Dazed and confused. Equipments. We haven't really used it much. So. Let's go with this one, actually, for now. And we need to do three more before we unlock the third slot. Okay, where to from here? Or is this just a side thing? No, it's a side thing. Oh, get... Don't want to get crossed between that and a force field. Yeah, that'd be good to toasty. Quite a distance up, huh? And it seems that we have missed a thing or two along the way. That looks like an intel pickup. Oh well. Uh, this way. Okay. Luckily, no. You cannot stop me from claiming what I have owned! What I was promised! She locked it down. Up. There, there. Going to leave that one for maintenance. Welcome to the UAC. Opening the gates of hell with the key to the future. Like, did they even did they even have anyone check this stuff to, to see how it sounded? <laughs> And hello, Rom! Hey, Rom. I thought I heard something. Uh, how are you doing today? Easy. All right. Outside of today, the last day of... The end. It's Sorry, uh, today's the last day of the book, so I just had my stuff over, and I didn't work on And with any luck, by next week, I'll have my paycheck. Okay. Oop. Fine. There. Knock that smile of their face. Where's the other one? Oh, I'll take the draw damage. Where did that one drop that from? Oh, there you are. The uh, 
they're not the ones that they are. I forgot their names with these skeleton monks and skeleton dudes. Revenant? Apparently they get played a lot. Revenant? Yep, they get. Yeah, and they get. I may not play the life. Oh, damn it. Missed that one. They get those things in, uh, surgically attached to them whilst they were alive, and then they are played, basically. And then they're shot out with hell and everything. Oh, hey, double barrel shotgun. Everyone's favorite. Yes. Okay. Oops. Me? It, it's a very simple weapon, but powerful. Take that. Holy shit, we nuked Mars. <laughs> okay, missed a lot of secrets. We didn't find a single one of the mini guys. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. Because, well, it wouldn't be a Doom game without going to hell, quite literally. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh uh, right, uh, I got, I finally got Dead Island. You poor thing. <laughs> okay. And I also got Reptide because it came like in a bundle. All right, I, I know uh, you or Liz. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it was Liz who doesn't have Vermintide too. And that could be a ton of fun of playing with the three of us and someone else because it's four player. <clears throat> uh, though there is a mod to get five players in since there's five characters to play. Uh, okay, let's see. Chats. Uh, you guys are not. Clip that. Uh, you guys are filling up the big ass bottles just now. Uh, uh, we've been doing that. Yeah, well, I've at least been doing that since there was a. Yeah, since summer basically started, since there was a heat wave. Uh, hate rom a weapon that I own. Okay, and he he was talking about Dead Island One. <clears throat> well, yeah, that that could be also fun to play. Let's see then. Cat Cadinger Sanctum, the Hell Porter is now open back on Mars. Lost in the Hell Dimension, you are unable to stop the demons from absorbing our world. Kill everything you see and find a way back to Mars. What was that saying again? From the frying pan into the fire or something? Yeah. Easy. Very lovely doorbell and decor, I have to say. I also got. Uh, Crisis, at least the second game. We'll set up okay. a and I... device at the tomb. Use the light poles to mark our path. And I installed a mod so that I could carry four weapons instead of two. Uh-oh. Okay, follow these things. And also have a slightly better nano suit. They're both okay. the same mod. <laughs> and it's just the... What were they called again? The possessed are normal ones, and these are the damn they think. Oh, oh, hello. A gun. But a Gauss cannon. Oh. Congratulations, you got a railgun. I thought it was supposed to be a BFG. No, we're no, getting that a lot later. Yeah, I was also say I was just gonna say, wait, we get the, the BFG this early? But luckily, no. I think here you can also get the mini the minigun. Yep. Ooh. Ow. Okay, don't go into the glowing green stuff. Also, I should probably say this about Rom. He's a werewolf that loves his guns. Yeah, yeah. This is number seven. I'm, I'm not going to waste it on small fries like this. <laughs> Finally, some fuel. <laughs> yep. Okay, just whiff that underneath his shoulder. Now there is a target that I immediately miss. 
Alright, you're you. Oop, more of them down here. I think that went well, just before its toe or something. Oop. That bound. Uh, okay, that was weird. Okay, we have to see. Um. Okay, once is a good coincidence. Twice is odd. If that happened the third time in a row, I would have been real confused and annoyed. So the yeah, I thought first the new game was about to crash. And the crash. I really got confused when you were able to still go to the menu and you actually saw what happened. The, the game sort of froze, and we need a well, we need a key skull oh, shit, for this. Realized. How much is the DLC? It's probably on sale. Uh, let's um, see for chat. What is happening? No idea, Marco. No idea. We are also clueless. Basically, nobody knows what's going on. And I... Ah, oh, fuck. I wanna... I just realized I wanna get all of the DLC for... Ah, oh, but it's... Yep. Too... Damn it. I mean, you're working for hell. Me? The DLC for what, Ron? Uh, right. Uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Okay. Oops, something big behind is, me. It's, uh, the whole, all, like, the whole bundle is 81.89 dollars, and I don't have that much money. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have to be a think wisely, and also, while we are killing demons, I saw we hit the ice cream truck. <laughs> okay. For once, when it's a normal weather. Like, I'm so used to hitting the ice cream truck in the... in storms, rain, snowstorms and whatnot. Okay. So, uh, ice cream trucks are like the postal service, come hell or high water. Come it's going to get delivered. Come so when you hear them in normal hours, when it's normal weather, it sort of becomes weird. Come hell or high water, we'll get you that fucking ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gods. Well, that is yep. a dedication, ain't it? Yep. There you go. Any other takers? Okay, no more Thanks. takers. Uh, I'm pretty sure about it, Roar, you may have found your other taker. Yeah, I think there was this moving out the way. Okay. Okay, that opens that up. I wonder... Holy shit, somebody made Fallout, old school Fallout armor, which means that some that if you want to cosplay as Imperial Guard from uh, 40k Warmer? in Warhammer, Warhammer 40k in XCOM, mm -hmm. now you can. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, let's see. Seriously, the, seriously the combat armor Mark II looks really a lot like Imperial Guardsman gear. Which one of them? Uh, hang on, I'll post. I'll uh, I'm talking about the standard Cadian armor. Yeah, standard issue armor. Or let me, me just, wait. Hang on, let me I should not say Cadian is that the issue is most just the most promoted in figures. Just there are so many variations of pure god. Like but, you, yeah, you, should, it's... you should see the Iron God. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, it's the standard issue armor. Uh, I left the link. Okay. I should play Dark Tide again sometime. I, it has been getting a lot of updates, I believe. Yeah, they've been trying to fix it. I was still surprised they're still doing more DLCs for Vermintide. Uh, and I don't think the game. Uh, I don't think my computer was overheating. 
you. You know what thing I don't really get? Hmm? It's from one of the games I bought. It's, um... Uh, Day of Infamy. Uh, it's basically a World War II game. You play as, like, the Commonwealth, the U.S. military, and the, um, uh, the Nazis. And one thing I don't really get is that only the Commonwealth gets a shotgun. Because, if I remember correctly, the U.S. military also had shotguns. And I get the Germans not using shotguns. They basically banned that. They wanted to ban them back in World War One and didn't use any. I mean, the air, their Air Force, the Luftwaffe, did have a shotgun. But that was, like, for survival purposes only. And it was, like, on a case that... You, like, you have to jump out of the plane, then go to the wreckage of the plane to grab the case with your survival gear. <laughs> Which is unlikely, depending on where that thing came down. Uh, oh, I, I remember something about a trench gun that the, yeah, the, the World War One Germans absolutely got slaughtered by in the trenches. Yeah, that's the Winchester 1897. Basically... It was pretty much what was known as, like, the trench gun, the trench sweeper, stuff like that. And pretty much in the close quarters of the trenches, it was devastating. So much so that the Germans tried making use, use labeled as a war crime. But that yeah. didn't really quite go to plan when you remember flamethrowers and nerve and the fucking mustard gas. Yeah. So shotguns were still used in combat. I think up until... Vietnam, when they stopped using, but even then, they basically just got some some of the soldiers just basically like got guns from home and packages. And even nowadays, shotguns are still in use. Admittedly, they're mostly used for breaching, but they, you know, get, if you have a gun and a guy jumps you with an assault rifle, you just pull the trigger without really caring or aiming. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marco, the ice cream truck owner during the heat wave. Don't buy the water, buy the ice cream. Do you think I bought this fucking truck just to sell water? <laughs> uh, and then, also, why doesn't Rakir play online co-op games with Hill? Uh, I'll leave that to you to explain, Rakir. Uh, most of course, I, I had medication at the early morning, and around this hour, the medication that helps me focus is at its weakest. It means it can be tricky for me to keep focus and be a good uh, co-player. Yeah. However, however, we have done co-op together. Uh, yeah, like uh, Orcs Must Die. Technically, we still haven't finished Orcs Must Die 3, but I'm just really freaking tired of that last level. Plus, it was extra DLC anyways. Yeah. And they have actually updated recently to fix many problems. Okay. Uh, we could we could visit that game again sometime. It was yeah. uh, like Ultimate Night Three. I would say is rather weak, or how much people wanted it, but it isn't bad. Yeah, and also we have played Valheim together. True. It's just that uh, the gear doesn't do good with shooters and such. Yeah, the one of the rare shooters I'm actually good at is Deep Rock Galactic. Okay, also, just a, a fun little thing that they really didn't need to do is that when you get close to something, you start pointing your weapon away. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get, listen to this. In the first age, in the first battle, when the shadows first lengthened, one stood, burned by the embers of Amakin, his soul blistered by the fires of hell and tainted beyond ascension. He chose the path of perpetual torment. In his ravenous hatred, he found no peace, and with boiling blood, he scoured the umbral plains, seeking vengeance against the Dark Lords who had wronged him. He wore the crown of the Night Sentinels, and those that tasted the bite of his sword named him the Doom Slayer. And come on! 
<laughs> what? Why is your clock distorted to play during this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the voice of hell summons the ice cream truck. <laughs> uh, one more thing, actually. Uh, we we only have it rarely that an ice cream truck comes by, and only really to one singular playground here, because at the the shopping center that we have, or I wouldn't really call it the shopping center, more like the center of the area where the most shops are, we have a permanent ice cream stand there. <laughs> so a bit of competition. Oh dear. You're going to be difficult back there, then. There we go. I keep it. My finger keeps moving over to R to reload. What happened? Okay, oh, yes, my audio it's, gone. Uh, headset turned off. Alien. We can't hear you. I think he's the t he turns it on the, the mic off, smell of just in case it was to about to turn off the stuff. Okay, it's connected. Now I just have to turn it to the right source. To release unlike last time, it took quite a while for that to happen. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and install Alien. Well, I, I just reinstalled Aliens Colonial Marines, and I'm gonna. Go ahead and put on that Temper VFX mod so that the game is a complete crap. Just slightly less crap. Oh, and a thing I found that Templar VFX mod apparently does work for co op. So if anybody decides to just, I don't know, fuck around with Colonial Marines for some reason, we can use that mod to make the experience less painful. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, this one too, helium. Yep. Yep. Get back to you. Yep. Wrong target. Yeah. Don't hear him. Uh, yeah, that's because he's not talking. It, Test one two. On the mic. Test one two. Went right through that one. Test one two. Three, four. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. You can't hear me right now, right? There's something oddly beautifully simplistic about a double barrel shotgun. Yeah. Wait, I can actually. Yeah, my my blue suit on the headset no just crapped out again for simple. some reason. Hell, the, hell the, back in the day, this was one of the cheapest weapons to make. Nowadays, they heard they're rather expensive, really enough, but... Years also, ago, they are very nuts for double-barrel blasting. Make and the specific nature has helped them last this long. It's just two barrels, two triggers. And if you really want to fuck up a guy, just pull both triggers and let them both rip. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. Russian, okay, that was easy. American. Hell, that survival shotgun I mentioned is like technically three barrels, but two are shotgun barrels, one a rifle barrel. So it technically count. There we go. Up and up. Okay. Okay. Hilly okay. and you killed everyone. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Nope. He can't. We can't hear him. Uh, test. I've uh, seen. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Did this like we hear the game? Him? We each other, but we can't hear him. And Let's what is going on? Hmm. Uh, don't we have this problem? For quite a while. Hey, can okay, you everything is set up. Oh, wait, you have something there? Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Six, seven, eight. 
Uh, I, I saw my I saw my voice bar moving underneath the, the game here. Be be yeah. <clears throat> For people watching the stream, I have moved the audio bar to under <clears throat> to underneath the game so I can keep an eye on when my mic might be going on the fritz. Uh, but it was moving there, but apparently Discord wasn't receiving it for some reason, so I checked in the voice and sounds uh, stuff, but my, the mic was selected there as well, so I don't know what the heck was happening there. Yeah, it happened for a while there. <laughs> okay, odd. W were you able to hear us? Yep. Alright. That's weird. Hmm. Just windows being windows. Yeah, it, it, at least that one was at least easy to fix. Let's yeah. see. Okay. Yeah, at least our first issue of the day with this. Yeah, isn't this where we were the yes, the place? I think there's a mini. No, wait, that... we missed it. Uh, yeah, but... Was okay. it now in Billy? Of course. Uh, anyways, Ooh. like I said, any thoughts on? What I said about Colonial Marines? It could be fun, yeah. <laughs> that was to me with the horn, with the horn, not to you, Rom. I know, it just came out of completely fucking nowhere. Maybe later. Hey, you have access to that as well, and feel free to make suggestions for sounds to add. Yeah, oh, just don't press the air horn. <laughs> really? I, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure I should have made that. <laughs> Did you just clap? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, take four or something. But it, th it, this feels like my belly in the morning when I oh. wake up too early. But my belly thinks it's breakfast time. armor there. Don't really think I can jump back up if I go grab that. There we go. What are you for? That's for. Okay. Let's see. Oh, good God. Looks like a teleporter of sorts. Uh, oh right, we're back at the start here now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Doom Slayer is that you, Grandpa? Uh, we don't even have ice cream trucks to, uh, here. They simply don't exist. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, when we call something a market, it's more like a, like a, a bunch of stalls being set up for like a. A weekly market or such. Uh, da, 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 same. Three, okay. <laughs> and Marco is back with my ice cream, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been a bit since we found one of these. And that Which is, is this? Astro Guy. Okay, we got the Revenant model. Astro Guy. Adam. The, the top line is the one that we've unlocked. The bottom one is which model of mini guy it is. Oh, that's... mini guys, and I think the auto map. Uh oh. I don't know why, but I like the fact that the machine gun in the game fires 50 BMG. Like probably because it's that... required, which is what we're fighting. Not just that, it's like, it's... Oh, everybody uses plasma weapons now, so 50 BMG is now the equivalent of an assault rifle round. Oh dear. Oh, from Marco? Astro guy? Is that your dad? Oh, hello, hello there. Dad. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta buy food. And, uh, oh, for the record, uh, the minigun is in one of the caves. Okay, dude. you've already played this, so you probably know this. But yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but I lacked it. I forgot the details, typically. Okay. See you next time, Rom. 
See you guys later. This is wrong. Yes. And have a good feast. Thanks. Later. Later. Come on. Nope. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Spooky steely skeleton. Oop. Clear. I still feel like they are using Hulk's moves for the Hell Knights. Well, they have the physique for it, mostly. Yep. Something hit him. You, huh? There we go. Three more. And I'm pretty. Yeah. Hello. Hello. One. Two. Three. Four. And done. Well done. Boom. I, I saw it earlier, but I didn't want to use it just yet. It's... Okay, put that in place. And... Wait, hold on. Okay, Gauss and Plasma use the same ammo. So similar to the shotgun and the double barrel. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Now a little jawbreaker. No, oh, we do the breaking instead. Let's put this one into health. I should use this a lot more. And it does group the ones that use the same ammo together. Which is a nice little thing. Oh. I think I just looked away from something happening. Actually, this one is full, so let's make it not full. all of them gone. Uh, I really want to take a look at what you... Oh, this one is gone in. Hey, Bob! Yep. Have a snack. Anyone oh. else? Oh. That's what I missed earlier. Lost soul. Yeah, what if it has to do with them screams? Okay, let me save that one. Okay, done already. It's... The music is still going, so there's something somewhere. It's locked. Not to fall into the uh, endless abyss. Oh, there you are. Oh boy. And stay down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Again, a power up that I missed. Uh, let's save it in case we need to backtrack here. So much blood. Hell, of course, there's going to be blood everywhere. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a hell if there wasn't. Go! Thank you. 
Okay, let's check on the Lost Souls entry once we're done with this place. Go and grab you whilst we're done here, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, we have three of those. Uh, power effectiveness. Let's go here for the moment. Let's see, let's grab and then weapon swap. Uh, weapon mod swap. That'll probably be useful. And let's see. Uh, Marco. And if you're wondering what ice cream flavor, it's vanilla and lemon combined. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. When you're playing with that one friend who uh, that has a wireless headset, hey, I gotta go uh, to the toilet. Okay, just tell me when you're back. Uh, oh no, you're coming with me. <laughs> uh, come on. Uh. <laughs> let's go grab this. How do you think I heard that juke before somewhere? <laughs> I said, I've heard that you a few times over the years. Yeah. Uh, I, I know one World of Warcraft machine that did that at least once. It was a pretty funny one, but I forget its name. Let's see. Okay, just go across here. Okay, From Pizza enough. Lover 3000. I have seen and Moving. heard that joke. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't move sideways enough for that to happen. That's for you surviving. I just realized... Look, the lost souls counter stocks. I guess. Two more. And by that, I mean metaphorical ducks. Sounds well. Maybe Yuki said he could be ready for dark hunt. So I guess it, this case would be Soul Hunter. That one isn't out yet. Okay, no grabbing there. Close. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll just stand in air for a moment. Miss. Me. I just now realize how tall these revenants are. He built took his freaking arm off. I I think this first time I actually saw the next to the Hell Knights. Yeah, they are pretty damn tall. There. No, we don't let them go to their heads because we smashed them in. Uh, nope. There. There's some. Oh, you've been left out. There we go. Well done. Let's Welcome grab some health and armor. Gained. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's our map uh, here. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. There's some info up ahead. So, oh, got a little guy Let's off to the sides. Dead man stalking. And four. Traitor tokens, momentum swing, kill 10 demons while using power ups. Of okay. whatever. And leg sweep glory kills on Hellraisers. Attack right leg. Okay. Wait, wait. wait. Legs. Is it sweep the leg? Yeah. 
Leg sweep. You said leg sweep. Is it, you, you... Leg sweep. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, okay, okay, now I see what you mean. I, I thought you... <laughs> I thought you flipped the title. Uh, let's see. Kadinger, Kadinger uh, Sanctum, the Blood Keep, also referred to as the Kadinger Sanctum, uh, is a sprawling network of tunnels, catacombs, and temples that connect the wasteland uh, umbral plains to the Great Steppe. It is believed that this area serves as a place of worship and vilification, as both hero and enemy can be found buried in tombs throughout the region. The area is inhabited by all manner of. Uh, hello. Okay, not sure why that happened. Uh, is inhabited by all manner of demons, including the possessed, the unwilling. Okay, that was that's the uh, decayed version of the possessed, hell knights, and other non-classified creatures. The Project Lazarus Man's uh, Expedition (MTC 2145-128) uncovered one tomb of particular interest. The temple was adorned with powerful holding runes and unique relics. Despite the complete loss of human life on the expedition, the relics were successfully retrieved by scout bots to the Lazarus Labs for processing and study. Unfortunately, records indicate uh, records disappeared after the relics were sent to the Lazarus Labs, and, labs, and they are now presumed lost. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. It's in her droid. Weird how I never heard it, but somehow came up with it. Uh, have seen it uh, as in I have seen uh, I have been in that situation when I used to play on a PlayStation 4 uh, I'm his cookie my brother's high school teacher is so stupid she was translating mammals it sounds totally different in Croatian and she said suckers <laughs> okay uh, almost forgets oh dear uh, first off actually let's take a look at the Gauss cannon the Gauss accelerator design has been used by USC as the basis for numerous industrial projects over the years, such as the Argent Tower itself and the ore diggers found on Deimos and Phobos. Uh, with, er with very few moving parts, the Gauss cannon makes a reliable, powerful weapon. By accelerating steel flechettes uh, through, a <coughs> through a magnetized chamber, extremely high velocities can be achieved. The weapon has near perfect accuracy thanks to the aerodynamic design of the projectiles. Uh, ammunition is cheap and reliably and readily available and is designed to maintain its composition when passing through organic material. The gauss cannon has a noticeable kick that must be compensated for by the operator. Okay, oh, we also need to check on the caco demon. Caco demons are monstrous uh, psionic demons driven by the desire to feed. They display limited intelligence, but are often sent into the fray as their natural size and abilities make them an intimidating weapon for the demon hordes. And the lost soul. These demons are found wandering aimlessly within the temples of hell as they search for a host to inhabit. When a potential victim is found, they will converge on the target and explode with a blast of hell energy. Lesser willed beings weakened by the explosion will then be possessed by the demon and the host soul uh, becomes lost in turn. Talents retrieved from the Korax suggest that lost souls are considered the lowest of the demons, even lower than imps. Since the wandering nomads, uh, doomed to forever roam the halls of hell, thrive on the weakest entities, lost souls are despised by the other demons. Despite their lowly status, they should not be underestimated. So yeah, it's basically just <laughs> bodies hopping, uh, body stealers. And Probably. Let's see. Partially what the uh, uh, or make it have the possessed. It could be, yeah. Let's see. Invulnerability. When it is observed, the stimulant diffuses argent plasma to the basal layer below the dermis, creating a tough film of bioplasma beneath the skin that protects the user from external attacks. This can make the demon almost entirely invulnerable until the plasma has been dissipated through repeated punishment. The bioplasma comes into direct contact with the nerve cells beneath the skin, which causes excruciating pains throughout the process. This increases the likelihood that, in the throes of agonizing torment, the mindless demon will try to attack targets that are clearly beyond their ability. Okay, that would totally not <laughs> go wrong for uh, whoever uses it, human or demon. Oh dear. 
All right. Uh, which way forwards? We came from there. Okay, checkpoints are this way. Let's see. Anything nearby? There is... Oh, hello. Oh. Let's see. Precision bolt. Zoom in and charge a high damage shot. <laughs> I think the animation says enough about that. <laughs> and siege mode. Let's see. Use the weapon to charge up a powerful beam that penetrates targets. Just <laughs> turn this thing into a fucking Kamehameha cannon. Let's go with that. <clears throat> and that's the Narco. Basically, it's Sasarface, Safishi in creation. Sisa means uh, suck or breast, and VC is an addition, uh, so it makes it into a verb, meaning multiple terms, mo subjects, beings, etc. Okay. Hello. Let's see. Without doubt, the UAC's most remarkable recent discovery was uncovered in its expedition uh, <clears throat> to Hell's uh, Kadinger, uh, Kadingir uh, Sanctum. I still, I think I'm saying that correctly with this, but I'm likely wrong. After several kilometers through nearly impassable terrain, the team discovered a sealed tomb. <clears throat> Its entrance and walls covered in protective runes and imprisonment incantations. Once opened, the tomb revealed many artifacts, including the Praetor suit. Most notable, however, was an enormous sarcophagus bound to the center bedrock of the tomb with thick iron bands, seemingly anchored to prevent anything from getting in or out. <clears throat> it was initially believed this sarcophagus must hold a rare or powerful demon, but when later opened, it revealed the body of a man. The body was not petrified or decomposed. In fact, he appeared to be only sleeping despite the fact that the bed he lay in seemed millennia old. Attempts to wake the man were fruitless, and to harm him even more so, as a protective argent barrier around the body kept him safe from harm in permanent stasis. UHC archivists catalogued the discovery DM15, but, pro uh, pro <clears throat> but project personnel had soon dubbed him the Doom Marine. While the history of this man remains conjecture, the Helix Stone, as well as other artifacts found at the Argent Fracture and during the Hell Expedition of ECM-13, have shed some light on his identity. An etching in the Book of Deva, another discovery of the Kandinger uh, <clears throat> Expedition, depicts the Doom Marine wearing the Praetor suit, engaging demons in battle as a hooded figure looks on. This image has been previously observed numerous time in other, uh, times in other artifacts, but only with the actual discovery of the Doom Marine and the Praetor suit in the sealed Kadinger tomb have researchers begun to put other pieces together. It is now believed the Doom Marine might have been part of an ancient group or tribe, maybe even their leader. Whether he is god, demon, or human will remain undetermined until the argent barrier protecting his body can be deactivated. Further deepening the mystery of his origin, UAC remote monitoring drones in service during the Kadinger expedition recorded a protected, uh, recorded a protected and deadly battle during the sarcophagus extractions. Extraction. <clears throat> the demons attempting to defend the tomb with an instinctual ferocity previously uh, unobserved. Once tethered and returned to the UAC, the sarcophagus was studied and first opened at the Lazarus Labs, but went, mi but went missing a few weeks later. It is believed that Samuel Hayden had the body and Praetor suit moved and hidden to keep it secure, although why he considered it to be under threat is not known. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he figured out that Pierce was up to something. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is partially based on old Doom artwork or concept work. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit more polished. Let's see. <laughs> and also, I can see also why the demons got aggressive. They knew what was inside. Yeah, and they did not want it out. <laughs> Uh, it, let's wait, see. Is there more? Doesn't it get screwed down more? Oh, oh, hello. 
Uh, our final notes to date, the Doom Marine and Samuel Hayden are the only known non-demon entities to successfully cross from the Hell Dimension to our own, despite several attempts by other UAC human personnel to do the same. Uh, okay, from hell to back. Uh, from, to, from hell to back, because, well, everyone else got killed. Or does that mean that uh, everyone else who tried couldn't return back and that they were stuck there. That would have been a very unpleasant thing to find out, especially after a few battles with demons. <laughs> okay. Is that, or they were able to do that without getting harmed? Oh, we've got something more on the Gauss cannon. The pre uh, precision bolt upgrade, of course. Let's see. A standard telescopic sight can be placed on the Gauss cannon, allowing for even greater accuracy at long ranges with this precise weapon. While using the scope, the operator can accumulate additional magnetic shards within the launch chamber, which, then rele uh, which when released will fire the flashes at an even greater speed. When fully charged, a launch flechette is almost unstoppable and will pass through multiple targets. <laughs> multiple targets, eh? Hey? Yeah. It's pretty obvious which is the charge part. It's There's now more that of way. Find a target. Oh, we missed a little guy around here. There you are. Okay, red and black. Mancubus model, red guy. It's anything else in the area here? Oh, there's a Praetor this way. That makes three, I think. Okay, just one more for the challenge. And info. Let's see. As a Tier 2 Advocate, you have access to privileged information that will help you understand the UAC's mission and purpose, and how, to, and how you fit into the new future. You will be privy to a deeper understand, uh, understanding, I presume that means, of our symbiotic connection to Argent Plasma, and how, to harness and, uh, how harnessing and using it is more than just good fortune, it's good sense. So you will no doubt start discussing some of the more sensitive subject matters that we tier two advocates mull over. One conversation that is often heard around the Argent Tower is, what happened to Samuel Hayden? As you know, our venerable leader designed the original Argent Tower, and during its construction his mortal body was consumed by a devastating cancer. Despite this, Samuel did not give up and used the power of Argent energy to create a new, more powerful body for himself. Samuel was still Samuel, but he became so much more. While it can be disconcerting to see Samuel now, remember that Samuel never gets sick, never tired, and is never afraid. And what do we have to thank for that? Argent energy, of course. Do you want to be like Samuel? Set your sight on becoming a tier three advocate. Tier three is where the secret power within you is revealed. Uh, yeah, oh, hello. I thought we missed one here, but apparently not. Uh... Okay, we had seen that one before. I thought we'd mi okay, we missed one in the Argent area. Hmm, or the Argent facility, that is. But beyond that, we uh, have gotten most of the area data. Well, this is what we start over so we can find it. No. <laughs> Tempered by the fires of hell, his iron will remains steadfast through the passage. Did not expect that to stop. Uh, let's see. Uh, praise upon the weak. For he alone was the Hellwalker, the unchained predator who sought retribution in all quarters, dark and light, it, fire and ice, in the beginning and in the and the end. And he hunted the slaves of doom with barbarous cruelty. For he passed through the divide as none but demon had before. So basically, someone <laughs> went to hell to get revenge. And I think we can take a good guess at who that was. Hmm. Uh, 
let's see. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> uh, go go gadget, a <laughs> demon ass picking. <laughs> Here, here's another. Or no, it's a, it's a rune trial. Let's see. Use the happy weapon, happy assault right, happy the heavy assault rifle <laughs> to weaken and perform death from above glory kills on three hell knights. Okay, Clip. that's going to be trickier. We are so clipping that. Okay. Uh. Surprise. <laughs> That that is that is what you get when you call for a clip. I have to press the button. Uh, hmm. Okay. Apparently, some. Oh, hold on. Doesn't this button? Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah. The last time I did that, it didn't actually open up the clip. <laughs> uh, so I couldn't shorten it. Shorten it. Yes. But I opened it manually now. Uh, so, let's see here. Oh, you wonder what uh, we were clipping? Well, Marco. My fumble Hilly, there. Hilly repeated and said, Happy Assault Rifle. Very clearly said, Heavy. Oh, uh, th 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 that misreading was oddly adorable. But also maybe concerning as well. There's the next, there's the next. There we go. Run. Oh, there you are. Got the red in my side. There we go. Let's see. Oh, Launch into a glory kill. <laughs> okay, so that gives a lot more range to when we can <clears throat> can we when we can start glory kills. If we were to equip it. Two more until we can equip the next one, I believe. Let's see. Uh, oh. Let's see. Lock on to let's take that. Since the lock-on is pretty slow. Let's see. We need to head that way. But the gate is closed. <laughs> hmm. I think you were in chat. I saw that. I don't get it, but it sounds adorably concerning. I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> okay, we've been there. We have not been there. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Sometimes it seems like my controls aren't responding for like half a second to a full second. Okay. We jump to there and continue on. We don't even need to jump. Let's Pretty face. It's... I had a feeling. It's party time. Okay, they're in fighting. Yes. That's a Baron of Hell. And he apparently does not like the small fries. Let's just leave them be for the moment. Did, did he actually kill the, the Baron of Hell? Uh, <laughs> okay. Hello there and goodbye. Let's see here. 
Oh, Monko, is it weird that, that this giggling makes me so happy? Giggling? Nope. Things in his microphone protest to the of me giggling. Test one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Again, that didn't hap that didn't coincide with me losing my headset connection. Hmm. Yeah, it, it is it's happened way less compared to the other time. Yeah. Apparently that somehow skipped the the, the chainsaw animation on that. Ah there you are, big boy. And yeah, I was like, I'm more shuffle or maybe cackle or laugh, but I really giggle. And it's really naturally giggle. And I love your little grass. Okay, and they're maybe not as bad as wasps. Yeah. I guess it is. The barrels of hell look terrifying. Yep. That's one. Yep. Miss. There we go. He just collapsed into chunks. Yep. And we didn't even need the quad damage for that. Let's see. Anything hidden uh, around here? You, you, you actually need to use them. Uh, I think for the yes. challenges. Uh, hello, Skyrim helmet. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's a, some. Yeah, I think it was an Easter egg and possessed the worst part of this game. Oh, oh, there's a. Okay, hidden lever. Let's see. I know that there's some retro. Uh, there, there's some retro yeah. levels in the game. Uh, and I think we just found one of them, or at least. Something that should have unlocked one of them? Let's see. I think so. There's probably something hidden around all of this arena that we didn't actually use. Oh, here. Let's see. Classic map, Doom, Slow of Despair. Let's see. This is uh, There is a piece of a classic Doom map hidden in every mission. Finding it will unlock the ability to play it by visiting Classic Maps menu. Try to find them all. <laughs> okay. And uh, okay, there's one in every level, and that means we've missed a lot of them. Oh, do you think? I thought it was only a few, but every level. Oh, oh mega health. Let's see. This stimulant is the first, and so far only, successful fusion of UAC technology and the arcane science behind Argent stimulants. When consumed, it bestows additional stamina and endurance on the user, effectively giving them more life. This effect is achieved by first vaporizing, then ionizing an adrenaline solution, which is then injected into a demagnetized Argent stimulant. As the resulting concoction is extremely volatile, the product must be absorbed immediately to avoid combustion. It is notable that the stimulant can be administered to humans, uh, su humans successfully, although it does shorten overall lifespan significantly. Attempts to administer the solution to demons have proven unsuccessful. The demon suffers agonizing deaths moments after ingestion. 
Okay. <laughs> um, um, I'm sorry, what? About, what's that about shorter lifespan overall? Yeah, so it, it, it makes you healthier, but it cuts down your lifespan. Basically, it's overclocking your body. Basically, that's basically what all of these uh, pickups have been. Uh, let's see, Marco, they should name those enemies the Ear Killer, since my <laughs> ears hurt because of them. Uh, I hope I hope the audio balancing isn't too off, Marco. I changed it around a little bit recently, so I, I hope I'm not getting drowned out. Me or Drakia aren't getting drowned out by the game or something. Though I don't want the game to be too soft either, so that, that's always a balancing act. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I used to be a retro gamer, but then I took a retro. <laughs> then I took a game cartridge to the knee. Uh. That's a new one. No, <laughs> we can actually pick up the retro pickups. Okay, that's cute. All right, just cute. <laughs> I get the more and more concerned for you. But first, you call a heavy assault rifle happy assault rifle. But now you're saying pick up ammo is cute. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Also, our health and armor have been pumped up to 200. Some oh, oh, there's something going on there. Oh. Ah, Revenants and Mancubi don't like each other. Whoever wins loses because we're going to kill them instead. Yeah, it is a. It is always interesting to see enemies that will actually fight each other as well. Did he just stop existing or something? Or did he explode while I didn't keep my attention on him? I think he spawned. Either way, we now know that we can get those to fight each other. If we're lucky slash smart enough. And on luck, I have it maybe. On smarts, I don't. <laughs> yeah, there's something over there, there behind you. First, take care of these. Yeah, some armor. Uh, Can we actually oh, it was get armor it? on that platform? All right. No. What was something else? We can't fill it up back to 200. It's oh, thank goodness. Nothing we're missing. I was to ask, are you mad? Maybe. I thought you were going to make a very, very foolish jump decision. There we go. Have a look here. Oops, someone kept a journal. Mancubus. Uh, let's see. Mancubi have taken their disgusting uh, physical condition and turned it into a weapon. As they reach maturity, a chitinous growth begins to form over each hand, creating a hard-shelled barrel. As the flesh inside decomposes, a noxious aflemuin, aflemuin, That's a word that was also in. Uh, Monster Hunter World, I could never say, uh, begins to leak from the barrel. The Mancuus can spew this discharge from the barrel over a remarkable distance. The volatile goo ignites under the tremendous pressure, creating a highly effective biomechanical flamethrower. So, yeah, <laughs> they are basically running on their own uh, decomposition. 
disgusting. Knock, knock. Nothing back there. We have some more story time. And in his conquest against the blackened souls of the doomed, his prowess was shown. In his crusade, the Seraphim bestowed upon him terrible power and speed. And with his might, he crushed the obsidian pillars of the blood temples. He set forth without pity upon the beasts of the nine circles unbreakable incorruptible unyielding the doom slayer sought to end the dominion of the dark realm oh dear you want, you want to read the last uh, thing marco said Let's see here. Uh, the very lost? Yeah. Drakir, why do you... Drakir, why did you do a confused... Ow? <laughs> confused? Wait. The unwilling actually beat the imps? Okay. <laughs> strength in numbers, I guess. Uh, or strength in uh, cluster uh, grenades. Uh, that was not me being confused. It was me stating the fact. Ow! Basically, it looked very painful what they, he he and did to them. There. <clears throat> and he, yeah, he basically just went through those four earlier like nothing. <laughs> Uh, because they are basically nothing to the Doom Marine. Uh, let's see. Marco, I also forgot to tell you guys I'm making an indie game. Okay. Uh, what's it called? I haven't decided on a name yet. Monster Hunter Stories is the best game in the series. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of our friends, Tatum, they, they, li they, uh, they like Monster Hunter quite well. And they, they were streaming Monster Hunter Stories 2 for a good while. I think they finished it. Hey, yeah, ni nice to hear that you're working on the game yourself. Hmm. Let's see, nothing missed, nothing missed. Yeah, what sort of game are you going for? Like, what style, genre, and such? Plenty of ammo. That can't be any good for us. <clears throat> okay, it just sounded like you were confused. Oh, almost missed that. Olivia Pierce. Olivia Pierce is the head of biological uh, of biochemical research at the Argent facility. Educated at Strasbourg with a first class honors degree in biomechanics and genetics, she joined her former mentor Samuel Hayden on Mars to head up the Lazarus project. A few a few months after arriving at the Argent facility, Olivia was diagnosed with acute uh, idiopathic scoliosis. The cause of this deformation is unknown. Given the option of being permanently wheel bound, uh, chair bound or undergoing an, extreme, uh, an experimental augmentation procedure, Olivia chose the surgery. After several months in seclusion, Olivia reappeared on her feet with a new titanium exoskeleton grafted into her spinal column. Although the exoskeleton allows Olivia to stand and move on her own, it causes her excruciating pain. Olivia refuses any pain management medication for fear it will cloud her mind. Um, I think the pain itself might be clouding her mind. Yeah. Um, let's see, Marco. A retro Doom-like game might turn it into an RPG. I think there was a Doom RPG game at one point. And um, hello, I saw something there. Artifacts. Yeah, plans for it? Is a spin-off, perhaps? Do you... Maybe. 
I, I think you can do it. It could work if you combine it the right way and balance it correctly. It could work. Yep. There. Uh, also, there was something earlier that I wanted to say, but apparently was not dispute. It's a very bad idea to fire both barrels of a shotgun, because, well, it's not made for that, and it will really, <laughs> it will really damage the barrels. So you might not even be able to fire it a second time like that. There. Oh, I did not know that. I guess that nope. means uh, kind of why the super up uh, shotgun is so sturdy looking. Yeah. To be able to survive such a tactical decision, they would probably otherwise destroy other shotguns. I still took its head off somehow. I think I just shot that thing in a non existent box with it. Goes round. There we go. Checkpoint, so combat done. Weapon upgrade gained. Nice. And we've completed all of the... <clears throat> we've completed all of the combat challenges. We've killed enough demons for it to be counted. Oh, we have! Oh. That's the sarcophagus that the Doom Marine was stuck in. Let's see, nothing missed. Nothing missed but some armor nearby. Tele okay, forward research station. Okay. Of course they turned this place into a teleport station. Let's see. We got four craters, but we didn't get the others. And we missed a bunch of secrets again. And, oh, we missed one rune trial. Okay. Let's see. Argent facility destroyed. You fought your way out of hell and managed to return, but now the demons have staked their claim on Mars. You must find a way to shut down the hell portal Olivia created. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. There is, but it was a mobile game and it's not longer... In the now, operating. They're gonna make myself dinner. Okay, enjoy, enjoy dinner, Marco. Uh, why did that guy wake up, grand, 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 grandpa? Wait, what? what? He's been making the jokes throughout, and I'm kind of m missing the point of it. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing the joke. The Argent Tower is destroyed. The portal can no longer be closed from this side. The Hell Energy flows from a location in their world we call the Well. But you've returned. The only flesh and blood to walk between dimensions. <laughs> so they're waving away. Vega is trying to access Olivia's files. If you can get to the nearest terminal, we will provide you with information. 
All right. Okay, I guess that confirms that the, only those two before you have been able to pass through the portals unharmed. And the others either got killed by the transition oop, or were not alive to be transitioned back. Yeah. Or when they were, they were, had probably had other side effects. Yeah. Like becoming possessed. Let's have a look. Skeet shot and shoot. Kill a revenant while it's in midair. Should be doable. Five kills with chainsaw. And find three data logs. Okay, should be manageable. And he fails every one of them. Small. But what? Why do they have a saint show in this place again? Uh, I think we might have missed a data log on that. Uh, let's. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, there have been reports of this item being seen at the Argent facility, though there are no known uses for it. Security personnel have been made aware that this item has likely been smuggled onto Mars and have been directed to confiscate it immediately. As there are no practical uses for it, it must be assumed that this should, uh, item should be considered a black market enthusiast weapon. <laughs> Not sure if we've read that one before. I don't, I don't think we have. But that one also just sounds concerning. Can we make this jump? Yes, we can. There's stuff over there, but how do we get there? Let's see. Wait, black market enthusiast wait. Ah, easy enough. Are those weaponized chainsaws then? Great guy with the Kako Demon model. You know, they have been smuggled on board, yeah, over, so... <clears throat> so I think... Yeah. I think they might have been... Uh, still missed something? It's... Uh, something below. Is there... Yes, there is. Here. Yeah, we really missed this. These things are pretty easy to overlook. Let's see. Baron of Hell. Uh, we didn't read it, uh, this one here. Let's see. The Baron of Hell is the highest demon among the Order of the Hell Knights. They rarely leave Hell, and no Baron of Hell has yet been captured by any of the tethering operations. Details regarding their behavior and psychology are therefore limited. And let's see. Um, Marco, it's a joke about the Doom, guy, Doom character's family tree. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. I think I mentioned of that before, of Commander yeah, Keen um, and all of that. Yeah, that he, he's he, Commander Keen and uh, what was the guy from Burbiskelstein's uh, name again? I forget as well. But, but apparently they all theorized to be related? I think so, because those are other uh, id spawns franchises. Yeah, <laughs> I no, believe. I think, it, I think it's confirmed that Doom guy is related to the guy from Wolfenstein. But it's unconfirmed he's related to Commander Keen, for they may have joked about that one. And only now do I realize that I've been sitting here without the fan on the whole time. So I guess that says that the temperature here is going down to a much more comfortable level. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It is clear that barons are ferocious fighters with a bloodlust unparalleled by any other demon. Barons, larger and faster than their lesser brothers, also possess the ability to generate hell energy fireballs, which can be hurled at a target. In the doomed Project Lazarus manned expedition, MTC 2145-128, it is believed that most of the explorers were set upon by barons of hell, though the details are unclear. Yet yeah, that would explain why they're... <laughs> <laughs> that will explain why nobody made it back, because they got their asses, well, not kicked, but probably kicked through. 
let's see. Tablets retrieved from the Great Step in the UAC automated, uh, automated survey of 2143 suggest that the Barons of Hell are the current royal guard of the unknown Dark Lord of the Fourth Age. While, a na while the nature of this entity is unknown, it must be presumed that as the royal guard's power has significantly increased, so too has the power of their master. Yeah. And now that I think about it, I think I think the Baron of Hell might be the last of the two appearing demons we'll get for a while. But there is another demon that we may find soon. And yeah, there are a few more in the arsenal, I think you can say. Uh, I forget the name of the ones with the fire. The ones that... the resurrecting bastards. Uh, wait, let's see. Pro Marco, so... So that's where my save shot disappeared? Uh, we, we, we see if we can give that back to you later. It might be a little bit bloodied. Yeah. Uh, or very they bloodied. They are related. Uh, okay. They didn't know you were related to any chainsaw. <laughs> Not what he meant. <laughs> uh, let's see. Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon uh, contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A tier 3 advocate wouldn't panic, and neither should you. We have a saying here in the Lazarus Labs. If you want the job, act as if. So stop, think, and act as if you are a tier 3 advocate. Here are the steps you should follow. 1. Attempt to reach an emergency force field safety zone uh, or a bulkhead door. Do not run as some of our transdimensional visitors are sensitive to movement. <laughs> okay. And be safe for Marco. I gotta go. Oh, be safe Marco and thank you for joining. Yeah, yeah thank you and see you next time. And um, next time you'll get to see us play with this thing as well. <laughs> the chain gun. It's... <laughs> the Delta-12 chain gun, often referred to as the D-12 by operatives, is a high-velocity heavy weapon capable of suppressing multiple targets at once. Recent changes to the firing mechanism have pushed the Delta-12 to the physical limits of a ballistic weapon. An argent-infused piston compression gas within the chamber crucible, uh, firing crucible uh, it, uh, to over <laughs> 220,000 psi. When released, this fires a 50 millimeter tungsten slug with, the with a muscle velocity of nearly 5,000 feet per second. The heat generated by this action is siphoned into a thermal gel, uh, uh, therm thermal gel compound it automatic, automatically recharges the 96 volt battery pack. This allows the weapon to sustain an almost endless firing cycle as long as the ammunition is present. The Delta 12 chain gun weighs 45 kilogram, making it a lethal but cumbersome armament. And yes, this is basically a fucking minigun. Who wants one for Christmas? Airlock sealed. Okay. Something broken. It needs to be unbroken. Or broken even more, more likely, because the Doom Guy doesn't really do subtle. Yeah, here. Olivia has an artifact in her private lab that we've been studying for years. I believe you can use it to find the answers you seek. It bears your mark. Olivia's personal laboratory is not part of the registered facilities database. Alpha level clearance will be required to locate it. Granted. You can access her Lazarus facility from the north sector of the advanced research complex, about 80 kilometers away. Okay, that's going to be quite a walk. I'll bring the tram power online to take you there. But you'll need a UAC Corporate Facilities Clearance Card to activate it. There is a security station nearby. Couldn't you just 
give us the clearance or just print a new card. Well, it's a lower. We are granting your wish right now. And yeah, you can see this thing eats through real quite quickly. Yep. Okay, Hillian, okay. When they open the mouth, this is when they are the weakest. Like that moment there. Yep. When they open the mouth, just shoot into the damn mouth. Yep. I hope the thing will damage or they actually stuns them. Go! That actually takes three, it seems, okay. Only one for him, since they're basically cannon fodder at this point. So that's two out of five, at least so far. Uh, does mean that we'll need to find some more fuel. Um, oh, hello. We've been here before, I believe. We're now just higher up in it. And a bit Anything? more uh, wrecked. There's a rune trial over there. Let's see, around the back here. Can't climb over that. So, hmm, how are you expected to get there? Hmm. Oh well. Then. Go. Ow. <laughs> yep. Come on, go airborne. Yeah, that'll work. Probably doesn't count, but okay. Heck. There's a trial over that way. Anything here? Not that we can see. Or did I just get an idea for a very cheesy parody? Uh, no. Have you heard the song that everyone was, everyone was Kung Fu fighting? Yeah. Kung Fu Panda 3 has a very good uh, version of that. Oh yeah. Uh, my parody is called, would basically be called Everyone is Doom Guy fighting. Uh, I think the better wording would be Everyone is getting their asses kicked by Doom Guy. Uh, probably. Let's see, pizza. <laughs> I would love to see that chain gun in action. Uh, let's see, it's number eight. Yeah, that, that, that's why I said uh, we will grant his wish. Let's see, there's something down below. Over. Oh, that's mega health. Can we? Yes, we can get there safely, so let's just grab that. Yep. Crouch, not blow ourselves up. Um, let's see, five points. 
upgrade that. And then we need two more for the hot swap. Actually, I'm going to change a little thing here. Uh, uh, mouse, yeah, both in the stream, you know. Okay, my, might as well do this now then. And, uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> it just said that it turned to zero zero. <laughs> Let's see, where is the button to use our equipment? Uh, yeah, there, use equipment. I'm putting... Oh, that, that is already on middle mouse button? Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good timing then. And uh, yeah, good amount of progress, I'd say. We went to hell and back, quite literally. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that's put a checkpoint, but at least we know where to go from there. And yeah, on only one real technical difficulty moment today. Huh. But two. Yeah, two, if you think about it. Yeah, but my headset disconnecting, I'd consider a lesser one. Uh, let's see. It's, it's, uh, I just got here where I, when I can't sleep and the stream is ending. Just my luck. Uh, Marco, get uh, on this other account again. Uh, let's see. Pizza. <laughs> well, it was fun being here. Hope to see you soon. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we will be continuing with our side streams. Uh, Obra Din and uh, Katana, Katana Zero. Zero. For some reason, I keep forgetting it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm surprised we said that in sync. <laughs> okay, for now though, let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see, a bit of a bit oh, yeah, of a, that... a lot of people online at the moment. Yeah, yeah, sure. I should probably explain this to a pizza guy. On Saturday and Sundays we have double stream. Yeah, when possible. So we stream in the afternoon and evening. Uh, with a break in between. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let me cut this down a bit. We have Touch Kelly Tail who is streaming Cuisineer. Okay. Uh, some sort of top down uh, game from the looks of it. Maybe a Stardew ish or something. Um, oh, they're, they're, they're doing demos. Okay. Uh, then we have Weird Romance who are streaming Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And let's Derpy Do is streaming Deep Rock Galactic. And let's see. Nico Silverado is streaming only up. Let's see. What is that then? I haven't heard of that name. I think okay, I had that thing before. Of... Actually, I think I saw that among the recent releases. This is uh, either a demo or something. Seems he has. A bit of a, a some slowdown on the frame rates. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, who of those would you say to raid, or do you see anyone else in the list there that you would want to oh, go I after? I can't see the list at the moment. Oh, wait. Only see us two. I forgot to change the screen share. Uh, why won't anything. Come on. Okay, why won't anything but. The browser be clicked on. Okay, what the hell? Well, it's a Let's minor thing. Let me do this. Just... There, that seems to have freed whatever was going on. Okay, change the screen share to the browser. And yeah, do you see anyone in the list to otherwise raid? Or shall we go with... Either Touch Scaly Tail, Derpy Do, or Nico Silverado. Hmm. And, okay, Marco has a suggestion for a raid. Who then? Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's supposed to raid Pizza Lover. Break has no life. And let's see, they are streaming. Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Okay. <clears throat> They've been going for about half an hour now. Okay, them or one of the previous? 
Hmm. I'm gonna say, well, I say Dear Purdue, but if they're in the middle of Deep Rock Galactic, that, that's that might not be the best idea to raid. Sounds, yeah, that, that that's a game that's probably a bit tricky to uh, to talk to chat with. Okay. Uh, Drake has no life then? Or Nico Silverado with only up or? Uh, it has been a while since we read Nico. Okay, so maybe next time, Marco. For now, copy the name, go to our place, and slash raid, paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later on this catch up stream. Uh, thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Marco. Uh, was there anyone else? I don't really think so. I see someone lurking in the chat. And I have one, at least one name that I'm going to run through the bot checker. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow we will have our side streams, as side quest streams of uh, Katana Zero and Return of the Oprah Din. Which would you say to do first? Uh, Katana Zero sends Oprah Din still feels like the thing you play in the evening when it's about to get dark and all that. It's not a horror. <laughs> but okay, not Katana horror, Zero. But, uh, like a mystery game? Well, it it, it kind of is a mystery game. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Katana Zero, then Oprah Din, and... Sunday, we will have another showcase Sunday to try out some games and we'll see what we'll do in the evening. Um, I don't think maybe someday more June. We're have another Sunday. <laughs> yeah, some, uh, Sunday evening, we're, we can have another stream. Um, I'm not oh. thinking maybe, I'm not thinking more Doom. Maybe we can finish off with either Oberdin or Katana Zero if needed. Otherwise, we could just do something else. Actually, That'd I think I have an either. idea, depending on if Rom is up for it. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. see how that Sunday will be. Yeah, for now, let's start the raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for lost souls. And on dead seagulls. <laughs> <laughs>